Jay Rico here. How are you guys doing today? Hope you guys are having a great day as of today. As you guys can see from today's topic of the video, we're going to be talking about story time. A little story time about what happened to me here. So, But as you guys can see on the title video right now, woman rejects me after finding out I'm in crutches. Yes, guys, this is the truth. This happened to me a couple weeks ago. And I'm going to tell you the story in regards to what happened. What are my actual thoughts here? So, and then, you know, and then just just let you guys know in regards to this here. So, so we are gonna get right into it. So, guys, as you guys can actually know, of course, I actually did break my leg right around a couple months ago, three months ago or so. The good news is that right now, guys, I'm actually able to walk as of right now. I'm actually walking. I'm not 100% actually like back to walking, walking, but I'm walking with an actual little limp or so. But of course there is no need for crutches right now as of this moment or so. So, which is good news here in this particular case, I am recovering here soon. So during that period of time, this was right around a month ago or a couple weeks ago, two, three weeks ago, whenever the girl actually decides to come over my place to have a good time and enjoy herself, knowing what she was going to get into. And then for whatever reason, Boom, forgetting the actual fact that she actually knew that I was in crutches and me actually already letting her know or so. So the backstory of this is that I was actually on a dating app or I actually was on a dating app during the period of time called Hinge. Now for the people that don't know what Hinge is, Hinge is just like Tinder, it's an actual dating app to meet these actual people. Now of course, with everything going on right now as of this moment, this is these are apps that I personally would recommend to actually get, of course, to get to know actually to get to know more people, to get to know more guys and more girls or so. Of course, if you guys are just trying to make friends or trying to actually talk to girls, this these are the dating apps you guys got to get in order for you guys to meet, talk to women and actually hang out with them or for you to actually let them know to come over here to your place or so. Guys, I'm telling you, it actually does work. It does work, guys. I'll probably make a video in regards to this here or so, but that would be in the next other video here. So, so. Um, I'm guessing what actually caught my attention to her was just the actual simple fact that she was pretty. Yeah, she actually did have pretty good looks. Yeah, she was cute. So, on her actual particular bio here, so one thing that actually did catch my attention was the actual fact that she specifically said, I only date guys that are Mexican. And I was like, okay. That's a little bit pretty descriptive or so, but I'm like, all right, cool. If you're into that, you're into that. You know, guys, you know how most girls nowadays, of course, they actually are only dating either particular guys or only go for either Hispanics, either their particular race or I need only go for for uh, for their particular race or so. You know, so I'm just gonna say this is that this girl was uh, white descendant. So she was white and she actually mainly, mainly dated Latinos or Mexicans, I guess you could say in this particular case or so. Now, we ended up matching, of course. We actually talked for a bit. I was like, you know what? I already don't like chit chatting on actual hinge or so. I like, I, I like to get straight to the point, guys. I was like, all right, cool. This is my number. You're gonna give me a call. You're gonna text me so we could actually FaceTime, get to know each other more, better. Cool. She actually texted me that same particular day whenever I actually did give her my number. We were getting to know each other a little bit more, better. And I would say probably within around a couple of days or so, almost a week. It was almost a week, guys when it actually finally came down to it, where I was like, you know what, hey, I find you attractive, I like you. She said she found me attractive, and then she already knew what she was actually getting herself into. Now, keep in mind, guys, keep in mind, guys, is that before, well, once I actually did give, give her my number, and then she actually decided to actually text me back, and we just started going on and off, uh, talking to each other, getting to know each other a little bit more, is that I actually told her specifically that I, I actually did have my leg broken right around a couple months ago and that I was in crutches for the time being and that I will still be in crutches possibly for the next three months or so. But of course that isn't the case because I'm actually doing a whole lot more better right now. Thank Jesus, of course. And then then that's when, of course, I think the next day or two days after that, I'll like, hey, you know what? Today's a pretty good day. Hey, why don't you come over after after I get off at of work or whatever, and you can come over, uh, bring some vodka, bring some wine, or bring whatever you actually want to bring. We'll, we'll just talk and just you'll have a good time, you know. Vibe it out, vibe it out. And she's like, all right, cool. Knowing what she actually was getting herself into, guys, she knew what she was getting herself into. I specifically actually told her what I actually would do to her, this and that. Like, hey, like, yo, you're attractive enough. I would, I would definitely, you know, I know what I'm doing, guys. I definitely know what I'm doing. I'm like, all right, cool. 
she found me attractive. She, I actually felt that she actually had a high interest in me or so because she would always text me back. She would double text back and, and this and that or so in this particular case or so. And then um, she, I'm guessing during the period of time whenever I actually, she actually decided to come over. Guys, at that particular moment, whenever she actually told me she was on her way, I'd have I had everything all set. Well, technically, pretty much, I just had my place all all clean. It was all good to go here. So, all right, cool. Now, the moment she actually texted me that she was actually outside, talking about an like, AM outside, I'm finna actually go to your place right now. Okay, cool. My place is is in this area. Cool. She found it. She knocked on my door. Right <laughs> when I opened the door, guys, is the first thing that she actually said to me. She said, "Wow, I can't believe you're still on crutches. Are you still on crutches?" How long are you going to be on crutches for? And then my mind to let you guys know is that she actually was telling me this outside of my actual door before she even got in to like literally look at my place. I literally look at everything that I actually had inside her. So, so of course, to, to find out what kind of guy I actually was in this case. And then she actually told me that and I still opened the actual door. She came in, she kept looking at my crutches, guys. Guys, I kid you not, she kept looking at my crutches knowing the actual fact that I did tell her two, three days ago talking about like, hey, just to let you know that I am actually still in crutches and then that I'm gonna be in crutches possibly for the next three months or so to let her know in advance. Cause I have no idea, guys. Some of these girls, if they see you in crutches for whatever reason, oh, they're probably going to be thinking like, oh, this guy, he, he can't do this, he can't do that. You know, and I, all right, cool. So, knowing the fact that she was going to come over and wanted to get it on, at that particular moment, I'll, I knew that it was going to go down here from there, from there, guys. And then, all right, she came over. She decided I should just sit down for a bit. And then, guys, let me tell you what actually did happen. This actually was the most awkward meetup ever in my whole entire life. We were talking, I actually sat down in the couch, she sat down in the actual couch, she had hurt herself, and then she actually decided to actually sit down in the other side of the actual couch here, so away from me. And then during that time is when I actually did have my crutches, I put my crutches on the side, she kept staring at my crutches, guys. I was like, like no, come on now. You are still gonna be looking at my crutches like, yo, there's definitely nothing wrong with me or anything like that at all. It's just the simple fact that I actually did break my leg. I'm gonna recover, everything's gonna be okay, of course. It just takes time, that's all, it just takes time. That's all. And then everything was going a-okay during that period of time here or so. And then she decided either to like literally just go to the restroom and by the time that guy, she actually did come back which just for the simple fact that she was like, hey, you know what, it's actually getting kind of late. And guys, let me tell you this is that she was only at my place for like 30, 20 minutes, 30 minutes max. And she's like, hey, you know what, it's uh, it, hey, it was definitely nice meeting you. She was getting her stuff ready to pack her bags and literally hit the actual door. Because right when she literally was, when I was actually trying to make my move so I could actually do something or not take her back to my room or so, she was not... She was not having it, guys. She was not having it. And I was like, yo. I'm like, okay. Okay. I just felt like with everything that she actually told me through text message in here or so, and then with everything, of course, that she actually did actually portray in, in person was definitely not how it actually, of course, sounded out here. So, guys, how, how did it look like here? So, in this particular case, guys. And it was just the simple fact that I'm guessing she actually was bothered by that. And I could actually tell from the look is that how she actually had that. During that period of time, I'm guessing, guys, she gave me a pretty long, big hug. I'm like, oh, okay, I hope you get better, this and that, blah, blah, blah. And then, boom, she like literally left. She immediately left. And I was actually shocked and I was laughing at the same time deep down inside. I'm like, guys, this is too funny. This is too funny. And I'm not going to lie, guys. Most of these women would actually do something like this. Why? Just for the actual simple fact that they say, oh, I don't remember you actually telling me that. But, guys. These women do not care about you. Believe it or not, these women do not care about you. Yes, there may be some women that may care about you, of course, but most of these women are not gonna care about your condition, what condition you are in. And honestly, I'm not alive, but I felt like she was actually kind of thinking to herself, like, you know what? If I'm actually gonna be with this guy, or if I'm literally gonna try to do with this guy, he's probably he, he probably can't even like literally like you know just get it on in the bed or anything like that at all. Cannot even cannot even please me, and and that, that's what I feel like she was thinking because we've already talked previously before in regards to that or so. And I like, yo, that's definitely no problem at all for me. 
no problem at all for me. But as soon as she actually left, guys, I was like, you know what? I'm not even gonna text her nor nothing like that at all. I'm not gonna beg her, guys. I'm just gonna leave it the way it is. If she decides to text me, cool. If she does not decide to text me, cool. And I decided to get back on Hinge a couple of days later after that, just to see as far as the simple fact that she actually still had, had me there. And she still did have me there, but I did not delete her. She did not delete me. I didn't text her back. She didn't text me back, which is okay. And guys, of course, it's already been weeks ahead from this here or so. And I just thought that this was so hilarious, guys. Guys, for the people that actually have disabilities, when he kind of deforms or anything like that at all, yo, this is serious stuff, guys. This is serious stuff, guys. If you guys are, are you guys are gonna think the actual fact that you guys wanna go out and do this and that, and you guys have disabilities, guys, don't give a F of what these girls think about you. Just worry about you yourself, and that is it, guys. That That is my person, that is my personal advice that I wanna give to you guys here, so. Whatever situation you guys are in right now at the moment, like as long as you guys are trying to better yourself, then that's all that really matters, guys. Look at me now. Excuse me. Look at me now right now, guys. Guys, I'm actually walking. I'm, and I'm actually walking before my birthday, which is the next couple of days from now here. So which is going to be yeah, in the next couple of days here. So and I'm thankful for that. I'm definitely thankful for that. But honestly, it, of course, it just opened my eyes how some of these actual women do not care in regards to what situation you are in. They just want to be either pleased at that particular moment or they, they just want to get it on at that particular moment in time. Like you're like, she was probably thinking to herself like, yo, you know what? If this guy cannot satisfy me, there's definitely another guy could actually go here. So, and trust me, there are a ton of actual guys that message women nowadays 24 seven. That's why mo most of these actual women, of course, they're actually hot headed or like really they have a big old head. Not, not I'm talking about a big old physical head, but they just have a big old head. For the simple fact that all of these guys message them 24 7 and honestly guys don't even message these chicks like that you know just focus on yourself guys go to the actual gym and honestly just for the simple fact that i'm actually walking as a right now i'm super excited for me to go back to the gym for me to work on myself i feel like whenever i do go to the gym it's a stress reliever for me guys it is a stress reliever for me guys so if the if this actually does decide to actually happen to you for whatever reason guys just let it go let it be if she doesn't want to talk to you then just know is that she's one of those girls that would actually leave you if you're in a tough situation she definitely will leave you guys if you were in a tough situation or if you were in a situation like that that actually did happen to you so she will leave you and guys you guys don't need women like that in your life you guys need high value women that would actually like you for who the hell for who you actually are. And I really don't want to curse in this actual video or channel or so just for the simple fact that if they do see that, they actually may either delete my video or do whatever they actually do want here. So guys, guys, just focus on yourself, go to the gym, and then trust me, for the women that actually actually do like you for you, they're gonna actually like you for you and they're gonna see that here. So trust me guys, there's a few girls that I actually are that I am talking to right now as of this moment here for you. You could automatically tell the women that actually do like you for who you are and the women that actually do not like you for who you are. It's just simple as that. It is just simple as that here for you guys. Don't take it to the heart. Just leave it like that. Don't start crying, talking about like, oh, don't start complaining, talking about like, oh, you know, this girl, she never texted me back. You know, hey, I was in crutches and I'm walking now. Don't text her back like, hey, hey, I'm actually off of crutches right now. Hey, I was wanting to see if you actually wanted to get a drink or something. No. No, she may say yes as far as a date or so, but when it comes to the actual date, when it comes for you to actually guys hanging out or so, she more than likely is either gonna flake on you or possibly she's possibly gonna even even ignore you when it comes time for you guys to meet up on the actual date or so in this particular case. Guys, don't do that. Don't definitely be that actual particular guy here. So now my advice, of course, what I did, I felt like I actually did a pretty good job as far as handling that situation or so. She decided to leave after that, after she actually saw my situation and just left it the way it is. And this is my first time being in a situation like this here. So, so I'm like, you know what? It is what it is, guys. It's just crazy how it actually blows my mind how these women would actually do something to these guys like that. And how most of these women talk about like, oh, you know, I'm actually a pretty sweet girl. I actually do this, I do that. Like, girl, calm, calm down. You are definitely not that type of woman. Like, come on now. We all know for a fact that you're definitely not a sweet girl. We all know for a fact that you're definitely getting each and every single weekend by a different guy each and every single weekend or so. You just like to have fun and that's it. Simple as that, guys. Simple as that, guys. So, 
I hope you guys actually did like this in my video here for us today. If you guys did enjoy, I would appreciate if you guys actually hit the like down below. And of course, if you guys have any questions, any comments, in the comment section down below as well here for you. And make sure to subscribe to my YouTube channel as well. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care.